Hello and welcome to this film which is about adding and removing substances from equilibrium systems. It doesn't really try and explain too much about why the changes are happening so like the rest of the practical films in this series it really just deals with a few practical examples okay so we'll see the changes happening and then we'll try and explain those changes in later films when we look at the principles involved okay but just for now we're just going to do a couple of experiments with different equilibrium systems and we're going to see what happens to those equilibrium systems when we add and remove reactants okay we're going to start off with um, one which I quite like actually is the ICL so iodine monochloride and ICL3 system um, I'm just showing you the chemicals that we're using here to make the chlorine in this left hand flask okay so the chlorine is going to come from the left hand side it's going to react with iodine on the right hand side to produce ICL okay so we're going to be forming ICL first of all how can we tell that we've formed some ICL well it's a brown liquid okay so if we see brown liquid in the YouTube on the right we know we've got ICL there how are we going to know if the ICL is turning into ICL3 well because we've got a yellow solid okay so I'm actually we're looking here at the tube which has got a mixture of both things it's got yellow solid on the sides of the tube and a brown liquid down the bottom okay so we've got both the reactants and the products and we've got chlorine there as well because we've just made some in that flask okay so what we're going to do here in this experiment is we're going to observe what happens to this equilibrium system as we add and remove chlorine okay the way we're going to remove chlorine here is by blowing through the YouTube okay doing this in a fume cupboard um, and trying not to breathe this stuff in but we're blowing through the YouTube and we've removed the chlorine and look what's happened okay all that yellow solid has gone we removed chlorine and the system came over this way it went to the brown liquid and away from the yellow solid okay just going to con connect the thing back up again now so that we can actually see what happens when we add more chlorine to the system so we've just seen us removing it we're now going to add chlorine to the system so I'm going to pour some more hydrochloric acid down onto the potassium manganate chlorine will start to form in this flask here and it will pass through this tube and over the brown liquid which is our iodine monochloride okay so we're adding chlorine to this system okay and what we should be able to see here as we do that as the chlorine comes through is that we are starting to form again this yellow solid so there you can see we've got brown liquid still but this yellow solid is starting to form again so by adding chlorine by adding a reactant we're pushing the equilibrium over to the right hand side okay in other words, it looks like this, e this equilibrium is using up the stuff that we're adding. Here, once again, we're just going to remove the chlorine. So we're going to blow through the tube, simply blowing the chlorine out of that tube. And you can see that yellow solid disappearing there and turning back into that brown liquid. So once again, remove chlorine, the system replaces it. Add chlorine, the system removes it. Okay, so we've seen those changes happening there in that system. I think there's a little bit of this film left but we can move on to the next reaction this reaction involves a cobalt equilibrium with two again two different colored species that we can observe okay so it's quite nice because we've got two different colors we can see what they are here we've got the pink okay this beaker in here has got the pink hexa aqua cobalt 2 ion okay and we're adding chloride ions okay this bottle's got hydrochloric acid in it so we're adding chloride ions what happens when we do this well this ion happens to be blue so we can see the beaker's clearly gone blue right so when I added chloride ions the system shifted over to the right I added the reactant it shifted over to the right now what are we adding we're adding water from this big bottle here so I'm adding a product okay so instead of adding a reactant I'm adding a product what happens the system goes back to the pink side okay so if I add a product the equilibrium seems to be shifting away from the products to the left here again we're adding the reactant chloride ions if you add enough of them the system shifts right over to the right to the blue ion again okay and just to prove that this will keep working just about forever if I add more water to it again so here comes the water being added and it's turning pink so products go we add products we go left add reactants we go right 
Okay, so that I suppose moves us on a little bit because whereas before we just added a product, uh, added a reactant and removed the reactant and saw what happened, this time we were adding a product over here and we were adding a reactant over here and seeing what happened. Okay, the last system actually talks about what happens when we um, add and remove something in a slightly different way. So this is the chromate and dichromate system. And in this case, we've got a yellow ion and an orange one. Okay, we can see the orange one there at the moment. Okay, and as we're adding sodium hydroxide to this system, the orange color will gradually turn yellow. Now, there doesn't seem to be any hydroxide ions here. Okay, but you might be able to think about what's going to happen if you do add hydroxide ions. Here we're adding some. H plus ions. Adding H plus, so from what we've seen already, if we add a reactant, we should expect it to go to the product side. And it did, it went orange. Adding OH minus, and it's going back to the left hand side. Adding H plus, it's going to the right again. Okay, so this is very similar to what we've just seen before. The only mystery, I suppose, here is what's going on with the hydroxide ions. Well, should know, even with only a basic knowledge of acids and bases is that if you add hydroxide ions to H plus ions they'll turn into water so OH minus plus H plus will turn into water okay so in actual fact by adding OH minus to this system I'm removing H plus okay so as I say um, in the next film or two we'll actually have a look at the principles involved behind these things um, but that's it for the practical side of this particular factor that we're looking at, the addition and removal of um, reactants and products. So a good place to go next is addition and removal principles, where we'll actually explain why equilibrium systems do the things they do in these circumstances. And we'll start talking about Le Chatelier's principle again.